presentation. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever seen a beam of light with different colors like rainbows? Give me that on your mind. Very good morning to all the honorable judges and everyone else who is watching right now. So today we are here to present on the topic of hydrogen emission spectrum and electronic configuration. Before moving on to the topic, I'd like to introduce myself and my team members. I'm Chitara Deoneti, the team leader of Team Spectrum, and my members are Prabhu Dharma Bandhu, Rohini Lihansa, Pasuti Aloka, Neth Mahadevini, Gayandini Keta, Ushira Sahan, and Kavita Sankar. As I will ask you a question at the very beginning, you might have seen the different colors of rainbow and different spectrums with different colors. You might be wondering how they are formed. They are formed by the absorbed energy of atoms are released at the visible region and you will see different colors of spectrum by your naked eye. So the spectrum can be divided into two groups, the continuous spectrum and the discontinuous spectrum. The discontinuous spectrum can be furthermore divided into two groups, like adsorption, adsorption spectrum and the emission spectrum. So today we mainly gonna talk about the hydrogen emission spectrum and how they are formed and how the electronic configurations are get quantized according to that. So Aloka and Kavidu will furthermore explain about how the hydrogen emission spectrum will work on. So over to you, Aloka and Kavidu. Thank you, Tara. So exactly the hydrogen emission spectrum is for today and our topic. We will be answering that question for you. With an excitement or when no energy is provided, the electron in the hydrogen atom is the first energy level. The stable and our excited state is known as the ground state. So we will be presenting how the hydrogen atom is formed by the medium of an energy. When taking the cross section of an atom, the energy levels are secured to them that when it in that, that state is known as the excited state and that is unstable. Thank you. 
all of friend is one. Thank you all of friend is one. There are several general principles used to figure out the different configuration of a species, namely of public health and police and social principles. Considering the of public principles also known as building up principles formulated by Yesco, stated that electrons occupy of this increasing order of its energy. As shown in the diagram, it is understood which is the generalization of the order in the electrons mobility in the continuous pitch of this. Although there are certain exceptions related to energy such as copper and chromium. Box 2. for your presentation it was a really good uh, performance spectrum and electronic configuration 
it's a very interesting part uh, you find this in your first lesson in our syllabus and as and also a very important part uh, you can answer the questions easily in this part so here i have uh, shown my questions can you see it yes yes madam we can see it yeah uh, this is mcq type questions uh, which of the following statement or statements is or are true regarding the hydrogen spectrum uh, there are four statements here you have to find what are the true statement or statements take your take your time man uh, give me the answer no need to get hurry read well uh, the important thing is uh, the there are similar words here so you have to read very carefully each point Uh, ma'am the answer for this yeah. question is a and b uh sure very good uh, your answer is correct uh, point a and b are correct statements okay so now i think pin sir puta you can ask your question oh, okay miss uh, i'll share the question this is my question okay we can see students we will learn the your answer the statement type question again so students did you all get the question ma'am we can't see the question properly uh 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 in sir puta can you zoom the question i think the half of the question is there okay now now we can see it again there is problem in your slide please sir ma'am we oh. uh, yeah now now, now uh, okay okay now it's okay okay uh, 
Actually, the, the question should be the true statement regarding emission spectra of H, HEN lithium 2 plus. I mean, that, that's more accurate, actually. Yeah, emission regarding the emission spectra. Team members, analyze each point and give your answer. Students, you need more time. Ma'am, the answer is number one. Uh, actually, the answer for that question is two, because uh, when we consider the first uh, first uh, option, uh, all the species are isoelectric. That's correct. There's no doubt about it. But the spectra are different because uh, because the frequency of corresponding lines increases gradually in order of the species given. Mm -hmm. So the first first statement, first option uh, choice is wrong. And when we move to the third one, the number of lines in each species increase in, in the order of the given species. Uh, number of lines doesn't increase because uh, uh, all the three uh, given ions or atoms uh, are isoelectronic. So they have equal number of lines in uh, all, all the three spectra. And in the fourth one, the effective nuclear charge of lithium is uh, not less than, it's higher than the than that on electronic nets, it's obvious. Uh, in the fifth one, the emission spectra of the given species are com not completely different because they have the equal, same number of lines in their spectra because they uh, all three are isoelectronic. So the answer is second one, which is although an equal number of lines are obtained, the frequency of corresponding lines increase gradually in the order of species given because their effective nuclear charges changes. I Thank you, you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, our next examiner, uh, Shalinda, do it. Can yes, you? madam. Uh, yeah. um, so my question is very simple. Uh, it's more related with madam's question. Uh -huh. So I'm sure y'all could answer it easily. The question is, now comparing to the gap of the lines in the series, we can determine the falling distance and other trends in the series. So consider a spectral series with larger gaps. Now, could you explain me about the trends of the falling distance, the wavelength, energy, and frequency when the gap between the lines are increased? Students, did you get the question? Do you Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, sure. Now, y'all, uh, there's a trend in the pattern when the falling considering the spectral series. Now, compared to the gap between the lines, when the gap in the spectral lines of the series increases, we can uh, determine the falling distance, the wavelength, the energy and frequency of the series. So could you all tell me wh when the gap between lines increases, what happens to those things? I think passing a bit the basic thing. Uh, so you all can answer it very easily.
Explains. Are you preparing your answer? As the gap increases, the wavelength is increasing. As the uh, wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency, the uh, frequency decreases. Uh, so the energy also decreases. Uh, what about the falling distance? Students, are you done with answering? Or you need you need more time to try? The falling the falling distance is slow, madam. Uh, okay, uh, now the uh, question part is over. So students, uh, you can uh, now do your performance part, I think that song or something. Sorry, madam, can you please repeat what you said? Can you, can you do your performance, a song or something that, that entertaining? Sure, ma'am, sure. Yeah. Chitara, are you all preparing for that? Or any problem? No, ma'am, we, we are ready, ma'am. Uh -huh.
I never thought that I'd be I never thought that I'd be I never had the sense they'd be high enough until I reached a point. There's just no getting back when your heart turns out of my sight. Gonna get ready to see that I have my head. So you have done your uh, presentation uh, very well and then other group performance also. Uh, so considering about all the facts and then all the, the things, the examiners has decided to give the final marks on their uh, own opinion. So then uh, I have taken the average and then the average is uh, 18, 18 out of 25. So it was a good presentation and then they will comment on your presentation. Then you can improve your marks uh, considering the uh, comments by uh, given the given by the uh, examiners. Okay, so let's move to those. Uh, Satita, can you comment? Yes. Uh, thank you, Dulan, sir. Uh, so the student uh, for marking, uh, according to the marking criteria, we all three examiners considered following facts. Uh, you should know these things. Sir. So the facts we considered are the accuracy of slides, teamwork, communication and organization, power of presenting, voice, speech, and time management, and uh, answering the questions. And next, creativity, overall quality, and the team scale. Uh, these are the five facts we considered for marking. So according to the criteria, uh, and the, uh, due to my marking scheme, uh, you have got 18 out of 25. Uh, actually, uh, other than the, other than um, more than the other three groups, the way you presented was very really good. Uh, it's new. Uh, and uh, you have tried 
a lot uh, and you have practiced uh, seems to be you have done rehearsals also so uh, you all guys have ready and performed well and i appreciate your effort but the problem is in your microphone so your microphone made it boring and this is a bit unpleasant because uh, when some people some presenters were talking we didn't hear you so we didn't clear you and uh, so we didn't get what you say uh, that the problem that the only problem in your group the major problem uh, at the beginning the starting person is really good the, the she talked very friendly and very attractively Uh, so uh, she had a very good voice also and the natural uh, so i really appreciate the way she started the presentation and the problem is that the background sounds they make it very disturbed uh, so and in the slides also you would have used that some visible fonts uh, when we are, when you are making slides and uh, so at some point the slides and presenters did not move equally uh, it was a problem also and uh, there were some slides with unclear some slides are unclear in some points so rather than that overall presentation is really good i really appreciate your effort and this is the first time you are uh, doing such a presentation very young very Uh, beautiful student students we saw your faces also and so and at the end your performance was really good um, and it was really interesting and uh, uh, good luck for your studies and uh, continue this continue doing this type of things in uh, other lessons also so thank you dulan sir for giving this opportunity and thank you students we really really appreciate your effort yes yes thank you satita uh, so uh, next comment id is by pin sir yes pin sir uh, yes sir uh, thank you for the uh, opportunity sir and also uh, i like to point out the same uh, facts that madam brought like uh, it was really good it was a change it, uh, all of you had the uh, the great team spirit and uh good teamwork uh the only issue was the technical issue which you had with the microphone uh except for that others were great like even the presentation slides were great i mean they were very descriptive and like we we, we can learn stuff just by looking at the uh presentation slides i mean uh, the presentation itself uh due to your uh, uh microphone issue uh it it was quite boring as madam said so uh so i gave marks uh, 18 out of 25 as for the whole run but uh, the lowest marks was for the power of presentation voice speech and time management you got two for that and for the viva you got three and creativity uh for for both creativity and teamwork you got 4 out of 5 and you got 5 out of 5 for accuracy of points so basically uh accuracy i mean sites are very accurate and 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 for the question i mean the viva you took a lot of time than other teams to answer the questions uh, that that's why i gave 3 out of 5 uh, and uh you did you did a awesome job uh it was really great presentation this presenting was superb and keep keep it up uh good good luck thank you okay uh pin sir about that and then uh shavinda yes uh you can come and do it are you there okay. yes okay first of all i'd like to say that you, the way of, the way you started the presentation was really attractive like me from other groups so you all were able to score lot and uh, now i agree with the other two examiners on their points 
Now, I'd like to point out about your presentation skills. Now, other teams, we didn't see them standing in front of camera and presenting. So, you all did a good job because you all didn't use any sorts of paper. You all didn't read the things in the slide. And you all have done a great job in that. But now, when you're doing a presentation like that, you should have uh, you should consider more about your body movements and uh, the way you're presenting because this is a live presentation so especially on your hands and head movements have to be considered and i saw some of you got a little bit of distracted by the others around you so once you're doing such kind of performance either you have to consider it more on what you're going to talk or you neglect the others around you so so you help uh, next time when you are doing a presentation, try and minimize the distractions you get from the others around you. And because of the connection errors, there was a lot of doubts. Uh, we couldn't hear most of the things. It was like uh, there's a lot of uh, distractions. So that's a problem with the connection. So you all have done a great job. And it was nice performance. And uh, yeah, the Viva session, uh, I, I was asking a very basic question, but you all still took a bit lot of time compared to other teams to answer the basic question so y'all uh, did score a little low in that case so according to the criteria i've awarded marks for accuracy of points and signs i've given you four marks for teamwork communication and organization it's four marks and presentation skill uh, boy speech and time management you all put just three marks because of those uh distractions and stuff and you all have to improve more on your presentation skills next time um then viva it's only three marks because uh there was a lot of y'all took a lot of time y'all didn't answer one question uh, uh answered the question wrong so that's why you scored three marks and then creativity and overall quality of the presentation y'all scored three marks and that's basically due to the uh, connection errors so still y'all can improve on your skills and you have done a great job. Uh, the main thing is I like the way you started the presentation. It was really attractive and uh, uh, so. Giving me this opportunity, it was a great opportunity and uh, I'd like to wish the students a good luck in their future. They have a great job. And uh, yeah, thank you, sir, a lot. OK. Uh, Putala, uh, it was a nice experience with you and my uh, dear examiners and uh, my dear Putalas. So then, uh, so this will be the final, this was the final session that we had uh, starting from our morning. So thank you very much, our dear, uh, dear examiners and your stu uh, our dear students. So this will be a good experience to you in your future, uh, sometimes in your profession, uh, you can be a lecturer, you can be a professor, or you can be a university uh, academic staff. Uh, and uh, in another form, you can be a manager or in any other form, uh, the presentation skills and this everything will be supporting you. And this will be a remarkable experience and forgettable experience in your mind. Definitely just uh, when you are looking back, uh, just like uh, 10 uh, years after this, okay? 10 years or more than 10 years. And it was actually an unforgettable experience for us also. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for joining with us and um, uh, you helped lot, uh, us to uh, make this a success. So wishing you all the very best for your future endeavors. And I'm going to wrap up the session from here. So thank you very much again and again. Uh, so wishing you all the very best. Uh, dear examiners, uh, thank you very much. Dear students, thank you very much. And I'm uh, going to finish the session. Yes, thank you, Dulanka. Dear students, you, you, all have, you all have got an awesome, sir. Uh, so work with him. Uh, you will have a very good future with him. Uh, yeah. OK, OK. Uh, so we are going to finish yes. this session. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank have a nice you, day. Sir. Bye.